It's a first for the city of Minot. That's right. New this morning, Minot City Council recently gave the green light for the city's first roundabout. To accommodate that, a mile long construction project, which includes adding a roundabout, will be or, uh, will begin rather around this time next year. Becky Farr has this story. There's a lot of activity at this intersection specifically. This is what 31st Avenue looked like back in 2007. Before a lot more houses, an elementary school, and the country club came about. The road was built for a rural area. With a lot of development in a short amount of time, Hackett says it just wasn't made for the traffic flow that the intersection sees today. There's low enough traffic to where it won't be too much of an impact for people to get used to, but high enough to warrant a need for some kind of roundabout or traffic diversion for this intersection. I think it's a good idea. It's Oh, quick. I'll make this uh, intersection a lot quicker. They need to put a double roundabout, I feel, so that the traffic flow is a little bit better to the school or down this direction towards 50, towards Highway 252. The roundabout will be single lane, but should be pretty helpful. Although it will be unfamiliar to some, Hackett says safety isn't a concern. If there is an accident, it's not a direct contact or a T-bone. It is usually a fender bender. You hit the back end of a car. That's really the difference. If you miss a stop at an intersection like this and you hit a vehicle, you T-bone it. There's a chance for death. Most of the $10 million construction project will be federally paid for through an urban road program with the DOT. That will include a full reconstruction of 31st Avenue Southeast, making it look a little bit more like its neighbor, 13th Street. So having a turning lane will stop the congestion of traffic going east-west for the, the neighborhoods. Becky Farr, KX News. Now the roundabout part of the project only counts for a small portion of it. Uh, it rings in at about $50,000 on a $10 million project. And the approval was announced just this week, but it will be about a year before construction actually begins.